Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our freshman award ceremony on this fine May day here at, uh, at St. Francis Borgia Regional High School. We're glad to have you with us and we're excited to share with you the great news about the recipients of these rewards, uh, awards. But let's first uh, pause for a moment of prayer and ask the Lord's blessings on us today. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God of life and love, strength and hope. We stand together with you at the end of this school year. While we experienced and even endured some big challenges this year, we can't and won't forget the successes and blessings that we received. We've grown physically and mentally and spiritually. We've learned and absorbed. We have stretched ourselves and met new challenges. We formed new friendships and grew our bond as members of the Borgia family. Our teachers have given us great gifts as they pushed us to new heights and they accompanied us along the way so we could achieve those goals. We have a lot to be thankful for, Lord. Let us never forget or overlook the fact that you are with us every step of the way, every day of our lives. You bless us with every gift we have and you call us to develop those gifts and to be thankful to you. We celebrate our awards ceremony today, highlighting some of the ways you have blessed this class. As we transition from school to summer, help us to enjoy these gifts that are about to be given to us, gifts of relaxation, fun, friends, and family. Keep us and those we love and those with who make up our Borgia family safe. Watch over us always. Help us to return to school full of enthusiasm, ready to embrace a new year of growth and service, and help us to grow closer to you through our prayer and worship. We ask your blessings now, Lord, upon these awards and the recipients of those rewards. They are certainly signs to us of your blessings and our effort cooperating with your grace. Your blessings and all good graces, we pray descend upon all of our recipients and awards in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now uh, I'd like to introduce to you your favorite principal, uh, Mrs. Tholen, who's going to uh, start us off with the awards ceremony today. Mrs. Tholen. Good morning, class of 2023 and all of your supporters. So you guys will forever be known as the class who came to Borgia and shut down the school. Congratulations. So we're going to get started with our department awards this morning. All of the departments took some time to recognize some of you guys for your accomplishments throughout this year. Some of them are based on academic prowess and meeting the making the highest test scores and things like that. Other awards you'll notice are based more on creativity, participation, asking thoughtful questions. There's a place for all of these awards and we're so proud of all of you. So at this time, I'm going to invite Mrs. Reddington up to present the Practical Art Department Awards. Hi guys. Um, welcome. Thank you so much for showing up this morning. Um, I am your favorite foods teacher following your favorite principal. And um, when it comes to the Family and Consumer Science Department and Practical Arts Department, we encompass so many different subjects. And today I'd like to recognize the foods and nutrition students who took that extra step. Um, it's a great idea when you have a foods class and kids can cook really well, but it's um, not just the grade with cooking and academics with the test, but taking that extra step. And let's start with open house. Without open house, many individuals would not understand what Borgia is all about. I have a number of students to recognize who showed up and made that extra effort. And the recipients are Chloe Wonderlick, Zoe Fletcher, and Anna Hastings. And I thank you so much for that extra time. When it comes to the foods class, there's a lot of preparation and a lot of cleanup. Oftentimes, kids want to get in there and just cook and have fun. Every now and then, you need to have somebody special who's willing to volunteer and take that extra step. 
I have two young men who were always eager to help with demonstrations, help clean up afterwards, help carry groceries. It was kind of one of those things, who are you going to call? And so I'd like to recognize Will Jett and Jared McCuban for helping with all those activities. And then with Foods Class, there are home labs that are assigned. This is where that application is taken outside of the classroom and applied to uh, have taste testing and exploring new recipes at home. And for that award, I'd like to recognize Lillian Persky. Thank you so much and um, have a great day. And now we will have Spencer Unterstall. Uh, good morning. Um, I have a handful of awards to hand out today to the freshman class. Um, this goes back from first semester into second semester, so civics and human geography. Um, the first award I want to give out is I call the, the most improved award, so kind of a student from first semester through second semester just kind of figured it out, the work that it takes to put in to be successful and stuff like that. So I have three of those awards to hand out, and those will go to Andrew Wolf. Jack Gettemeyer and McKenna Claycamp. So congratulations to you three for really, really upping your game as the year went along. Uh, the next award is I call the Inquisitive Learner Award. These are the kind of kids that just kind of take the learning to the extra step of maybe asking the, the in-depth questions and putting the, the extra work in to, to really dive into the content of the class. Um, those awards go to Kyle Nelker, Ellie Bly, Tyler Dill, and Molly Schrader. And my last set of awards for Civics Human Geography is my highest achieving awards. Um, this was kids that got A pluses, 99% uh, and above. So you're looking at kids that missed maybe only, I'd say less than eight points throughout the entire semester. So, so congratulations to these students. Um, Lauren Dow, Lexi Meyer, Christine Spittler, Evan Laurent and Zach Pazinski, and the highest achieving student of the, the semester, he missed two points all semester long, was Sam Dunnard. So congratulations to you guys as well. Um, I also have the pleasure of announcing the Foreign Language Awards. So hola, bueno, goes to the highest achievement, excellence in Spanish one is Sam Dunnard for the freshman class, so congratulations, Sam. And then Guten Tag, how do you say good job in German? Gut gemacht. Uh, excellence in German one goes to Kyle Nelker and Maddie Raymond. So congratulations to you guys from the foreign language department on Mr. Gross's and Mr. Storr's behalf. Uh, next, I'll introduce uh, Miss Patty Russell to give us some awards out. See you guys. Good morning. On behalf of Mr. Eggert and Mrs. Regal and the entire English department of St. Francis Borgia Regional High School, it is my honor to recognize for excellence in English one, Aiden Garlock, Gabe Rio, and Lexi Meyer. For outstanding effort in English one, William Jett and Ryan Pelster. And for excellence in advanced English One, Christy Spittler, and Tyler Dill. I also have the pleasure, on behalf of Mr. Strohmeyer and the entire theology department, to give the following awards in Theology One. The first award we call Seek and You Will Find from the Gospel of Matthew. This recognizes persistent effort. And it's my pleasure to honor Samuel Chambers, William Jett, and Ryan Pelster. Our second award we call, Who Do You Say That I Am? Also from the Gospel of Matthew. This recognizes those who ask the pertinent questions. It's my honor to recognize Haley Rhodes, David Pan, Madison Lammert, and Ellie Bly. And our third award, Sitting Under the Fig Tree, from the Gospel of John, those who show excellence in personal reflection. And it is my honor to recognize 
Colton Lange, Chloe Wonderlich, and Daniel Rydell. I also, while I have the microphone, would like to say good morning to my freshman homeroom and freshman advisory. I hope you have a blessed and healthy summer. Thank you. And now I have Mrs. Berkby. Good morning, freshmen. Woohoo! All right. So first up, I have my award for success skills, and this is the Extra Mile Award. So this is for students who ask questions, they work hard in class, and they are always attending seminar. Um, the three recipients are Susanna Sharudi, Daniel Rydell, and Haley Rhodes. Congratulations, you three. It was a fun year. Next, I have a slew of awards for the science department. They must be rocking up on the third floor there. Um, first, we have from Miss Gibson, who's on the second floor, my mistake, um, most improved engineer in introduction to engineering goes to Charles Egert. Next, I have um, a four different awards for Mrs. Addison. First is outstanding knowledge of content in biology one. The three recipients are Ellie Bly, Kaylee Gross, and Daniel Shear. Next, most improved in biology one. The three recipients are Ethan Stellhorn, Riker Obermark, and Haley Putz. The next award exhibited a natural curiosity and interest in science. These three are William Pfeiffer, Preston Lober, and Zane Bequet. And lastly, the three hardest workers in biology one go to Jack Gedemeyer, Daniel Rydell, and JJ McCubbin. Congrats, you guys. Next, for Mr. Struckoff in Excellence in Advanced Bio 1, we have Tyler Dill, Lauren Dow, Aiden Garlock, Christy Spittler, Sam Dunnard, Lexi Meyer, Ava Mohart, and Kyle Nelker. And that is all my freshman awards I have. Congratulations to all of you. And next, I have Mrs. Snyder. Good morning. Um, first, I'd like to present a few awards on behalf of the Fine Arts Department. Um, outstanding Band Student goes to Blake Weber. Outstanding Work Ethic in Band to Molly Ferguson. Outstanding Speech Student to Tyler Dill and Lexi Meyer. And Outstanding Theater Student to Daniel Shear. So congratulations on behalf of the Fine Arts Department. And now the real subject in school, the math department, okay? So we have first um, an outstanding advanced geometry student goes to Zach Pazinski. Academic excellence in advanced algebra to Lexi Meyer, Kyle Nelker, Sam Dunard, and Aiden Gorlock. And academic excellence in algebra one to Emily Gatlin, Kaylee Gross, Nia Markwart, and Lydia Broom Morse. And I just have to mention one more that's not an official award, but I have to, I have to give this out to the best Zoomer, the person who participated the most and entertained us on the last day, Tyler Dill. Thank you, Tyler. At this time, I'd like to introduce you to, I don't know, what's, I guess Mrs. Tholen's up next with the rest of the awards. Class of 2023, you guys are a talented bunch. I'm so proud of all of your accomplishments. Um, so hopefully one thing that you noticed, even before you walked into our, into our doors back in August, you knew that school spirit was just a pillar of our community here, right? So whether it's at a sporting event or cheering each other on on the stage or getting dressed up in a spirit day outfit for homecoming, whatever, spirit's a big deal, right? And our spirit leaders club here would like to recognize two members of the freshman class for going above and beyond in school spirit. 
So for Outstanding Spirit Behind the Scenes, I'd like to present that award on behalf of the Spirit Leaders Club to Lexi Meyer. And finally, Outstanding Spirit at Sporting Events. He's our new knight, Preston Lober. Congratulations to you two. Our final three awards this morning are awards that I ask our faculty to nominate freshmen, and then they choose the top award winner for these. And um, these awards are very important, I think, to what, what we want in a Borgia student. These awards are the Courage Award, the Christian Attitude Award, and the Leadership Award. And the Courage Award goes to someone who's overcome some trials and tribulations this year, whether personally, academically, whatever. And they still attended school and they did well and they maintained a positive attitude. And the Courage Award for the freshman class this year goes to Sophia Fletcher. The Christian Attitude Award, I really think, speaks to what sets us apart from other schools. So yes, we obviously excel academically and excel extracurricularly with sports, clubs, um, and fine arts. But Christian attitude, this is what we really want of our students. When somebody comes into our doors, who, who is going to treat them like Jesus would treat them? And I'm proud to announce that our faculty voted Daniel Rydell as the Christian Attitude Award winner for the freshman class. Finally, our leadership award. This goes to somebody who um, is sometimes a quiet leader, but then also can step up and speak up when necessary. The faculty has voted on Sam Dunard as the recipient of the leadership award for the class of 2023. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us this morning. We have so much to be proud of. I'm excited to see everybody back in August and have a great summer.